The beautiful and bountiful land of the Olympians, jutting out from the Aegean Sea. Land of a thousand islands, the birthplace of democracy, home of famed ancient warriors and kings. Welcome to Greece! Today I'll be covering its history, geography, and culture. The story of Greece is long and complicated. It arguably began about 7,000 to 3,000 BC. These ancient occupants of what is now Greece were explorers. They were also agriculturally inclined, considering how rich the soil was. Here began the rise of the Minoans and the Mycenaeans, each ruling during different time frames and different areas, the islands and the mainland, respectively. This was the ancient period of Greek history. The rule of the Mycenaeans would last until 1200 BC. Its ending was catastrophic, setting the path of ancient Greece towards division. However, it was also a period when Greek city-states started forming between 800 to 480 BC, during what we now call the Archaic Period. Cities which we now know as Athens, Sparta, Corinth, Thebes, and a number of others were given birth to during this tumultuous period. This period was also marred by intercity state warfare, the introduction of the very first Olympic Games, the heyday of Western philosophy, the rise of tyrants, the birth of democracy, and an impending invasion by the Persians, which almost ended the rule of the city-states in the Greek mainland. This period is known as the Classical Period, the growing tensions between the city-states in Greece and the damage wrought about by the Persian invasion helped to give rise to another power north, one which would greatly influence Greek culture and even archaical Middle Eastern culture. The city-states would soon be under the grip of the Macedonian kingdom from 359 to 148 BC, first by Philip II and then by his son Alexander the Great who led an expansion towards the east that earned him his moniker. However, after Alexander's death, the empire was divided into several smaller empires, each ruled by his most trusted generals, the Diadochi. And the wars between them ushered in the Hellenistic period of Greece and the east. Greece was ruled by the Antigonid dynasty of Macedon after Alexander's death. Their rule would eventually end in 148 BC after losing to the up-and-coming Roman Republic in the Battle of Pydna. The Roman Republic, which slowly transformed into the Roman Empire, was supposed to have started influencing Greek society after the defeat of the last city-state of Corinth in 146 BC, part of the Achaean War. But Greece was able to maintain its identity within the Republic and eventually, the empire. Romans even embraced Greek traditions and culture, especially literature and philosophy. But like many empires, Rome would not last. And in the year 330, the Eastern Roman Empire came into prominence. The Eastern Roman Empire, or the Byzantine Empire as known by some scholars, had jurisdiction over Greece and Greek culture highly influenced many traditions of the empire as a result. Prior to the split of the Roman Empire, there were already signs of Christianity in many locations throughout the empire, and Christianity would eventually be considered the main religion of the Western and Eastern empires. This gave rise to many dioceses in and around Greece, marking the beginnings of a Christian presence in the area but the Byzantine Empire was not safe from roving barbarians. Gothic invasions and sackings that began in the late 4th century severely affected the economy of the empire and the provinces of Greece. However, it continued being one of the most prosperous and influential regions of the empire. During the Crusades of the 11th century, the Byzantine Empire became the target of Latin Crusaders, the former being an Orthodox Christian empire. Conquest and reconquest ensued, which greatly weakened the empire even more. This helped usher in the new rulers of the remnants of the empire, 
the Ottomans. The fall of Constantinople in May the 29th, 1453, capital of the empire, led to an Ottoman victory and gave them power over former provinces of the Byzantines. Greek society was largely non-Muslim, so it was divided into millets who were largely autonomous. The Orthodox millet was headed by the ecumenical patriarch of Constantinople. Ottoman rule was largely discriminatory, especially when it came to taxation. From these early years onward, many Greek families would migrate towards other countries, helping to shape the Greek identity in their own way, free of external influence. The Greek War for Independence began on March 25, 1821. Ottoman occupation had taken a toll on the local Greek population, and they decided to act on it. This show of defiance impressed many of the great powers of the 19th century, many of whom gave support to the Greeks. This war ended in 1829, with Greece becoming an independent state. 20th century Greece was filled with troubles. It was, for most of its time, bankrupt from constant war and internal economic struggles. Numerous wars plagued Greece, including the Balkan Wars, the First World War, and eventually the Second World War. The first half of the 20th century was also a time of nationalism and dictatorship under Ioannis Metaxas, who ruled from 1936 to 1941 on his death. The Germans occupied the Greek peninsula and its many islands. During World War II in 1941, Many ancient sites were destroyed and a large number of the Jewish Greek population were displaced or even sometimes disposed of. It was a dark time in Greek history. This nightmare would eventually end in 1945, but it would soon be followed by a civil war between royalists and communists. 1950s Greece was largely authoritarian in nature. Social and economic development was unequal, but it was rapid. By the 1960s, it was able to surpass the economic growth of its communist neighbors. In 1967, disillusioned by the results and the legacy of the Civil War, a coup was launched, led by Colonel Georgios Papadopoulos. This repressive period gave rise to many rebellions within Greece. The junta ended in 1974, when they tried to assassinate the leader of Cyprus, which led to a Turkish intervention. Democracy was then soon restored, and in 1981, Greece became a new member of the European Union. Greece's economy has experienced significant changes over the past few decades. After adopting the euro in the early 2000s, Greece saw economic growth and increased borrowing. However, the global financial crisis of 2008 revealed fiscal problems, leading to a severe debt crisis by 2010. This resulted in high unemployment, austerity measures, and multiple bailouts from the International Monetary Fund and the European Union. Despite these challenges, Greece is gradually recovering and stabilizing its economy. The economy is driven by key sectors such as tourism, which attracts millions of visitors to its historic sites and islands. Shipping, as Greece has one of the world's largest merchant fleets. And agriculture, with products like olives and grapes being significant exports. As of the latest data, Greece's GDP is approximately $240 billion. The combination of these sectors plays a crucial role in Greece's economic activities and growth. The flag of Greece, more commonly known as Galanolevki or the turquoise and white one, is recognizable by its nine alternating white and blue stripes with a canton in the upper hoist side with a white cross. The cross symbolizes the Eastern Orthodox Church, the blue symbolizing the sky and seas, and the white the purity of Greek independence. The Greek peninsula and islands have a total area of around 132,000 square kilometers or 51,000 square miles. The capital can be found in Athens, 
one of the oldest cities in the world. The country borders Albania, Bulgaria, and North Macedonia to the north, and Turkey to the east. Greece has a Mediterranean climate, which means it has mild and wet winters in the southern lowlands and island regions, and cold winters with strong snowfalls in the mountainous areas in the central and northern regions and dry summers. The average maximum temperature in the country ranges from 30 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, while the minimum temperature is 5 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius or 41 degrees Fahrenheit to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The highest point in the country is Mount Olympus, home of the Olympian gods in myths. It stands at a height of around 3,000 meters or 9,900 feet. The lowest point is the Mediterranean Sea. The Greek peninsula and islands have a total combined population of around 10 million people. The demonym for those living in the country and anything related to the country is Greek. Greek is the official language with over 99% of the population being able to speak it. Additionally, around 81% of Greek inhabitants are largely urbanized. The main religion in Greece is the Greek Orthodoxy, with 81 to 90% of the population adhering to this belief system. 2% of the population are Muslim. Let's explore some iconic dishes originating from Greece, each with its unique origins and significance in Greek culinary culture. First on our culinary journey is taramasalata, a beloved dip made from fish roe known for its creamy texture and delightful flavor enhanced with a squeeze of lemon. This appetizer is commonly enjoyed during festive occasions family gatherings, and social gatherings throughout Greece. Next, we have dolmades, a traditional dish with roots in ancient Greece. These delectable stuffed grape leaves or vegetables are filled with a savory mixture of meat or rice, then carefully baked to perfection. Dolmades are often served during special occasions, such as weddings, baptisms, and religious holidays symbolizing abundance and prosperity. Moving on to baklava, a quintessential dessert tracing its origins to the Byzantine era. Layers of flaky phyllo pastry, sweetened with honey and sprinkled with ground nuts, create a mouth-watering treat enjoyed during celebrations, festivals, and family gatherings across Greece. And let's not forget about gyros and keftedis, Two beloved savory delights deeply rooted in Greek street food culture. Gyros, with its origins in the Ottoman Empire, features succulent meat slices wrapped in pita bread, topped with fresh vegetables and creamy tzatziki sauce, making it a popular choice for a quick and satisfying meal enjoyed any time of day. Keftedis, flavorful meatballs seasoned with aromatic herbs and spices, are often served as part of a metze platter or enjoyed as a main dish, accompanied by a side of salad and bread, showcasing Greece's love for hearty and flavorful cuisine. These dishes are commonly savored at outdoor markets, festivals, and tavernas, embodying the vibrant spirit of Greek street food culture. Now, let's move on to some famous people from Greece. From the ancient philosophers to basketball players, let's get to know some of them. First, we have the three famous philosophers, Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. And then we have Leonidas Thirst of Spartan fame. We also have the famous basketball player, the Greek freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And finally, the very first Greek Olympic medalist in the modern Olympic Games, Fencer Leonidas Pyrgos. If you enjoyed this video on Greece, you'll love this next one.